Hi guys, this is Mayur and today we'll be working with a very big stepper motor and I got this one from RoboKids India and the website claims that it can pull uh, weight around 180 kgs so we'll see about that and in order to uh, drive this stepper motor we require a micro step driver so currently I'm using this one YKD 230 235M I'm not sure you are being zoomed or not okay so well I was looking through the web and there are very few tutorials or documents on how to run this and most of the um, stepper drivers are like at least they are like same with a few changes and we'll be also using an Arduino board and we'll also be using a power supply this currently I have right now is 24 volts and we'll connect these components and we'll make this step make this big stepper motor work okay so okay so now we are in an overhead shot and uh, this motor driver basically gives you the PU that is your um, pulse plus plus pulse minus DIR plus DIR minus is basically for your direction NMF plus NMF minus that is basically uh, basically your enable pin that enables or gives the disable enable this signal or not to this So if you can see here, this driver basically have a lot of different options where you can have, uh, you need to exactly find the proper um, pulse or revolutions that you are using for your motor, uh, your stepper motor. And these are the dis these small switches or you can call them as dip switches or on the side, they will allow us you to use all these values and based on what how many uh, rotations or revolutions you are using based on that you need to select these switches from the side and over here there is also two LEDs the red is basically uh, when we have a shortage and the green one is basically when everything is okay and this whole thing comes within a very aluminium case and that is for heat dissipation and all so first we are going to do is, we are going to disconnect all the negatives to the Arduino. This one is DIR minus. Now we are going to connect the three pins on Arduino that is your pulse plus and your direction plus 
to this wire and your Now we are also going to work on connecting your DC wires giving the power supply to the board. So the voltage is around 20 to 50 volts and it will only work in more than 20 volts. So take that into consideration while choosing your power supply. Okay, now we are going for negative 2. Mm, positive 2. Positive. Let's try to power it. Okay, so in my power supply, these are the negatives and these are the positives. These are two negatives and these are two positives. So let me just change the pin. Let me, there is still charge in the capacitors. Let me just wait it out. Mm. Connect it like this. Are we getting the 24 volts on the terminal? Yep. We are getting. So, if you can see, there is a short circuit or not proper supply. The red light will will lead up. Wires are not properly tightened. Okay, so green light is up, that means everything is working and fine. Okay, so let's move on to connecting these wires. So in order to connect these wires, I need to understand which is A or A negative or B and B positive. 
so basically inside a stepper there are only two coils and they are made as such that we have like uh, the variation in the magnetic field within the coil so I need to check the manufacturer information so let's have a look all right so here we are at or at the manufacturer page so it's a NEMA 23 planetary geared stepper motor 180 kg so how much is in newtons okay it is 7 newton per centim per meter newton per meter okay uh, okay so this is the motor and there is a small description that they have given so here it said A is black and A minus is green so I will go with A is black sorry oops A plus is black, A minus is green. Okay, now B plus is blue, is B plus is red. And blue is P minus. We can also check this by using a varying the resistance, measuring the resistance. So there will be resistance between the two, the two these two wires and these two wires. We can also do that. Okay. So now we have to connect the Arduino. So if we see. In Arduino, we have direct pin at 3 and step at pin at 4. DIR pin at 3. So, DIR pin is... DIR pin is grey one. Is it 3? 3. Step pin at 4. Pin at five. Never pin is purple one. And like this. Okay, let's cross check everything. So I have already uploaded the code to Arduino, you can see over here, it's just a, so now it is running, you can see, there's a lot of power, honestly. So this is the first phase where we are using to power this motor and then we will be driving, building some applications which will be using this uh, high torque of this motor to drive something or So see you guys, like and subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.